Welcome to the Daily Reminder Network. Sunnah Revival by Sheikh Mu'iz Bukhari Sunnah of the Prostration of Gratitude Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh My dear brothers and sisters in Islam, this is Mu'iz Bukhari recording for the Daily Reminder Network. First and foremost, I would like to seize this opportunity to advise myself and then all of you all watching this video to show gratitude unto our Maker for the numerous bounties and favors that He Azza wa Jal has conferred upon us. They are indeed so numerous in number that if we were to try and count them one by one, we would fail miserably. As our Maker rightfully states in the Noble Quran, وَإِن تَعُدُّوا نِعْمَةَ اللَّهِ لَا تُحْصُوهَا That if you were to try and enumerate the blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, لا تحصوها. You would not be able to encompass all of the blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. My dear brothers and sisters in Islam, we keep moving from one blessing to another blessing. We are basically wallowing in an ocean of the blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Our lives are permeated, i.e. completely saturated in the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So bearing all of this in mind, I thought of devoting today's episode to Words touching an amazing sunnah, which is also a very beautiful way of showing gratitude unto our Maker, and that is sujood shukr. In other words, translated as the prostration of gratitude. Sujood shukr is prescribed for anything that makes an individual happy, whether it be due to that individual attaining some benefit or certain harm being averted away from him. Or her. It has been reported to us that our Prophet Muhammad وسلم, used to fall down in prostration whenever he received news that made him happy. In reality, you and I, my dear brothers and sisters in Islam, you and I, we need to be in prostration our whole lives to thank our Creator for the numerous bounties and favors that He has conferred upon us. And even if we were to remain in prostration our whole lives, it would not suffice as a display of gratitude from us. But on the other hand, sujood shukr is prescribed only when you receive good news that you don't receive on a normal basis. Say for example, you come home after work and you ask your wife what she has cooked for lunch or for dinner. And then she says that she has cooked chicken biryani. But now that's not something that you're going to fall down in prostration thanking your creator for. But say on the other hand, you receive the news of a birth of a baby boy or a baby girl or you receive the news that you have been admitted entry into a particular university or that you've got, gotten a certain job or that you passed a certain examination or even say a disastrous harm was warded away from you say a speeding car whizzed past by you just a few inches away from you a close shave or say a tree fell, fell down where you were standing a few moments ago in such situations sujood shukr the prostration of gratitude is prescribed upon us. It is an amazing yet simple sunnah. You don't have to be in a state of ablution. You don't have to face the qibla. All you have to do is fall down in prostration, glorifying your creator just as how you would do in salah by saying Subhana Rabbi Al-A'la Glory be to my Lord the Most High. And remember that sujood shukr only consists of one single prostration. My dear brothers and sisters in Islam, let us revive this amazing yet simple sunnah of our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam by implementing it into our lives. For after all, knowledge mandates action. And please don't forget to share this video around as much as possible to inspire an amazing sunnah revival. Wa akhir da'waya an alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Jazakumullah khair. Support the Dawa. Donate now. Go to the dailyreminder.org slash donate.